can I say about the Kraber that hasn't been said? By now everybody knows that it is a one hit kill whether you hit their foot or their head. What the stats can't tell you is how to get the most out of this underused beast. To illustrate my point I will be using gameplay from two separate matches. The first footage you will see is how I use the cloak to cover ground undetected and get the drop on my enemies. Next you will see how I use stem to cover ground quickly and rush my opponents in hopes of overwhelming them. Remember, both loadouts have their pros and cons and I will leave it up to you to decide which one is up for you. First on the list is Cloak. Although I consider this my stealthy Kraber loadout, you will notice that I am constantly moving and relocating. The key to using Cloak successfully with the Kraber is positioning and observation. You want to get close to your opponent but not draw too much attention. Stick to the outsides of the map and use your parkouring abilities to relocate into view of high traffic areas of the map. I find it easier to cloak after taking a shot to disappear on the mini-map rather than cloaking and shooting. Doing this can make it harder for you to place your aim as your sights will be completely clear. However, a trick is to wait until you can see the red gamer tag pop up. This means your crosshairs are in the correct position. Be aware that if you miss a shot, you put yourself in a predicament. You're going to have a good amount of time before you can take another one and by now that dot on the mini map is glowing bright red and a GPS to your location. Cloak is great at helping you get the shot off but doesn't necessarily provide you with much protection after you miss. This is where stem comes in. With stem I use the same principles as cloak, meaning I am constantly relocating and moving. However my movement pattern is toward enemy pilots, not necessarily around them. I will stick to the outside of the mats predominantly, but I tend to play much more aggressively knowing that I am not only harder to hit, but I have an additional health regeneration that will typically allow me to get more shots out before dying. Remember to keep in mind you're moving as you will be much easier to spot than if you were using cloak. The key is to get the jump onto the players before they can see you and it takes a much higher skill level to position yourself correctly without cloak. Another benefit Stim has over cloak is the crosshairs or red dot is, are always visible giving me a faster response time to locking onto pilots. Personally I like the Stim setup as this allows me for work, more room for error when dealing with seasoned pilots. As you can see in both videos, I'm using the AOG scope. This is a personal preference as I like to play closer to the action, but I would not recommend going any higher than the 4.5 zoom as the bullets have travel time. Closing the distance can make landing shots much easier with the Kraber, and I find the AOG to be perfect for my needs. So there you have it. A little bit of knowledge can go a long way, and I hope I have made this weapon a little bit easier to understand. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like, and thank you for watching.